Welcome to this demo of um, some new features in Squat 2.4. Going to demonstrate paths and the new uh, clip roll brush. Start off with demonstrate your paths, bring up the path menu, new path. Now paths can be used to create smooth curves and filled shapes. Um, in the editor, bring up the now new path, press control and left mouse button or tap down your stylus on your pad to create a point and then add another point. Now that's a straight line, obviously. Now you can add another two points. Now use the left arrow to go back and press C to convert that to a control point. And we can drag that up. Now we have a conic spline. Right arrow to get to the end again. And add another three points. And you can drag that one up. And a little bit slowly because of the um, video capture. Again, whoops, I hope that didn't sound too loud. Press C, press C, converts them into control points. Pressing Shift C converts them back into ordinary points. So you can see there's a straight line, conic, and then the cubic shape. Right. Now we've got our shapes there. We can um, stroke the path, the current brush. So you get a nice smooth curve there. We can move this path around by pressing Shift, Shift and drag, and then stroke it again. Perhaps we'll change the colour and do it once more. Now, you might want to save that path since you don't, so you don't have to re-edit it next time. So, Paths menu, Save Path, choose the Paths drawer and save it as demo path. That's one from a previous attempt at this demo. Save there. And now I press escape to leave the path editor. And one might want to load in a new path. So load path, paths. We choose this yin yang one, a pre-made pre path. And then enter the edit again by from the menu. Choose edit this time. And the path appears. Then Shift and drag. Now you can see some polygons are black, some are red. Obviously the active one is red, so if I click on that point, it makes that polygon active. And so on. That, and you can edit individual polygons if you like. Pull up the points. Drag, click and drag to point, drag point around. It's going a little bit slowly um, because the video capture, especially with audio, is capturing all, it, not all the um, CPU up. Um, now we could fill this one, choose a colour, choose fill active, and you see there, yeah, and then perhaps we might stroke the outline of that. I'll undo that. And choose a smaller brush. Path fill active, stroke active. Okay, now I'll just quit the path editor again and show you the selection tool that we've got here. This is all. This was new in two point three. Um, I can select select now this area, then. Go back into Paint Tool, choose a nice big brush, choose a nice contrasting colour, then I can paint in the area in that section without overwriting images. Then go to the menu, edit, clear so that you can see. Um, to bring up my menus, by the way, I'm using Alt and Right Amiga. So you can just bring it up. Which this makes it a lot easier than trying to use the buttons on your stylus because on my stylus at least they're pretty useless and they don't work very well. Okay, that's the paths then.
Now let's move on to the clipboard brush. Just going to just get a small brush here and draw something. Let's put pressure on and put the solid on. Right, now let's draw a little smiley face. Right, now we can go to Wedge's copy box and copy that into a layer. Then we want to go to the layers menu, color to alpha. Now that's changed all the white transparent. So if I go to the move tool, bring that around, you'll see that that layer is transparent. It's also left, it's a copy of the previous section of the layer. Right now, if we load to edit and copy, that copies it into the clipboard. As you'll see down here, clipboard brush. Bring that up, let's change the colour and go into paint tool, that line is solid. Right, you can now see the brush and we can paint around with that. Ah, I didn't change layers, got to change to that, to the smaller active layer. Let's get rid of the temporary layer, delete that. Right, so you can do it draw. So now I've got pressure on there so you can see you get little faces of different sizes. Now that's using the colour of the brush. If you want to change to use the colour specified there, you bring up the brush, the new brush attribute window, switch colour off, and then when we paint with that, we get the colour of the chosen colour here. You can see you can get different sizes depending on the pressure you use on the thing. Obviously you can do better than that. So that those are two new useful features of SketchUp Blue 2.4. Thanks for watching.